In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit as far as the content example project that people can download to work with and see some examples that Unreal does provide. So to start out here, you are going to start in the marketplace. If you've never worked with this before, um, you're going to need to add it to your library. So what you can actually do is under the marketplace tab in the Epic Games launcher, under search products, if you just type in content examples, you should get a pop up here. Now mine says owned because I've already downloaded it, but it's a free uh, level set that you can download and pretty much what it is, is it's kind of a broad overview of all of the things that the game engine can do with associated levels for each of the topics. Once you've done this, you can then come over to your library once you've added it to your vault, and then you can come into your vault and for my vault, I'm actually going to search for it. And when you do this, it's going to ask you to create a project. Now I'm currently running 4.272. It still works. So you're going to want to just let it create the project. A word of caution though, whenever you're working with this, this is a very, very large project. This project is not meant to actually build anything in it or use it to build projects. This is, think of it almost like a museum that you can kind of walk around and tour all the different things that the Unreal Engine is capable of doing. So before this video, I did choose the create a project. I let it go through the download process. And now in my projects here, I have the content example project already made. So I can go ahead and double click on that to load it. Now this is something too that if you have a lower end computer, I really strongly encourage you close out other applications. It is probably going to take a minute for the content examples to load. Not only that, you're also dealing with shaders. So it is going to take a bit of time for the shaders to compile and load as well. So here you can see now, I'll actually go ahead and while this is loading, I'm going to see if I can come into, not project settings, but under my developer tools here. Let me increase my widget here so that I can, you can actually see what I'm working with. There we go. All right. So when you're working with this, and as you can see, it's compiling an additional 7K shaders here. But here you kind of have this starting preview area where you can kind of move through and it'll show you as far as different options and talk about what you can do. So you can just go through. So here it has, you know, as far as demo stands, you can actually come up here a little bit and actually see, okay, so there's an example of the static mesh options, another, here it talks a little bit about timeline animations. So also two here as far as kind of interactive. And then also just talking about what you'd see in the project. So again, this isn't really meant to be a project that you're building in. So coming down to the content browser, though, I'm going to actually bring this up a little bit so folks can see it. First off here, you have tons of different folders, but ex specifically, you have a example content folder. And here you can see you have specific folders regarding different elements here. So for instance, maybe, uh, oh, let's see here, maybe we do like blueprint. And in here, you can see as far as different blueprints, as far as the communication elements that we worked with, you can also see any types of effects that were tied into that. And then let's go back again here and let's actually go under content again. You also have the actual maps themselves. 
So what's really nice about this is not only do you have an environment that you can dive into, and first off, you can break it. The worst case thing you do is you delete the level and start all over again. But also, too, you, you have specific references. So like coming back in here, like if we go to Blueprint Mouse Interactive. So here, this shows you how you can use a mouse inputs to control your game. So it has the player controller. So we hit play. And there you can see it's showing me how I have some mouse interaction. And then it stops the simulation. Finally, just to kind of dive in a little bit. So you're looking at this and you're like, wow, that was the coolest thing ever. I want to know how to do a cube like that. Well, this is now where you can come into the world outliner and you can actually see what you were working with here. But also too, recognizing what level you're in, you can come back under the content browser. So we came into the blueprint mouse interaction. If I come over as far as some of the different blueprints, Oops, not under the blueprints, it's under the example content here. You can navigate through these and actually go through and take a look at some of the examples that popped up as far as the scripts were concerned. So you can see down here, you know, I have like an actual editor cube. I can look at as far as the blueprint goes, or I can build off of that blueprint. And it gives you a starting point as far as being able to go in and actually edit and start your own projects. Again, it is a lot of troubleshooting. It's a lot of trial and error as well, but it's a great way to kind of see what the entire areas here are capable of. So again, this is the content examples project. It is not meant to be built in. It is meant to only showcase what the engine is capable of, but also to, again, it is not meant to be built in. I can't emphasize that enough. You try to build in this, you're probably going to crash your computer. And also too, again, if you are on the lower end of a computer capabilities, I would not try to open this with other programs and software running. 